She's executive analyst at Cox Automotive, whose parents' company, uh, Cox Enterprises, is an investor in Rivian. And, and Michelle, just to be clear, I, I don't believe you look at stock analysis of these things. You're looking more at consumer trends, correct? That's correct. I, we look at how consumer behavior more than anything. Well, that's the big question a lot of people have, is how do you justify the market caps of some of these? And, and that's why they're turning to consumer behavior to kind of take a look at some of those things. Why don't you tell us what you're seeing, just in terms of whether consumers are interested in EV and to what extent and what they're seeing? Well, we are seeing every quarter more and more interest by consumers in EVs. In the last quarter, our study showed that one out of four uh, consumers considered buying an EV, and that's the highest level we've ever seen. Still small market share, but uh, things like Rivian, things like all the new products that are being introduced at the LA Auto Show uh, are really helping uh, drive interest. And in terms of that interest, I mean, we're talking about governments that are kind of pushing us to the idea that, that mm -hmm. much more of the EV market is going to be, um, and much more of the market's going to be EVs in the years to come. Does consumer demand at this point match up with what we're hearing from the government? Well, it's kind of a chicken and an egg. Um, we need an EV charging infrastructure uh, to drive EV sales. That's one of the concerns, although it's getting to be a more less concern um, with consumers. Um, but but it's, it's really important that we have an EV charging infrastructure uh, to drive EV sales. And then, of course, we need that to drive EV sales, to encourage the EV infrastructure. So what are the sales right now, and, and where do you anticipate they'll be, let's say, five years from now? Well, uh, EV, pure EV sales are a couple percentage uh, of the overall market. But in the coming years, we anticipate, um, you know, it, and it depends on global U.S. U.S. is lagging a little bit, but it, it could be um, much higher. There are some people saying as much as 20 percent by the end of the day. Does that sound right to you? I, I think it all depends on um, the, the EV infrastructure, developments and batteries, improving range. But the, the biggest obstacle for consumers right now is price. Uh, EVs cost more than uh, regular vehicles, uh, and it's the number one barrier. Uh, so we've got to have more uh, EVs on the market that are affordable to the masses. Does that mean the government has to continue to subsidize EV sales? Well, we are we are seeing more tax credits uh, in the infrastructure bill, um, so that may help. Uh, certainly, with uh, the more mainstream buyers, I'm not sure it does for people who buy very expensive EVs, but it perhaps helps.